Ow. Hope everybody's had a good week so far. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Yay. Halfway through the week. At least for us that work the Monday through Friday. Um, I've collected a lot of stuff for this week already. So I'm looking forward to going through and opening everything with you. I did try to do a live stream, but it won't let you until you've requested it. And then you got to wait a day. I don't know. It's weird. Can I help you, miss? Miko's in here being nosy. Cool. So I'm going to start. I don't think I'm going to have a rhyme or reason with boxes and bags. Just whatever. Because <clears throat> I have a lot of stuff. So we're going to start here. And this is really cool. So this is for my granddaughter. Her birthday is coming up on Sunday. She's turning five. And I really thought that she would get a kick out of this. It is I'll show you. An instant print camera. And it's really cool. So I got the pink one. And she can take pictures and then print them instantly. And I think she's going to love that because she was playing with the tablet when she was over and the whole time she was like, Nan, I'm taking pictures of you and getting a real kick out of it. So I think she would really like to be able to take pictures and then print them out like right away. So this is super cool. And I really like that it's not super big. It'll be perfect. It's got a little holder, a little charger. It's even got little pens you can mark on them after you print them out which is cool and it comes with rolls which is awesome so i'm really excited to give this to her i think she'll get a real kick out of it and it definitely wasn't expensive it was like 25 bucks which is not bad at all and this is something she is going to really really enjoy so i recommend that i'm hoping that it turns on and works well and everything we'll try that out i'll let her try it out <laughs> all right and if you can hear the squeaky toy back there that is nova and that's her squeaky squeaky she loves squeaky toys oh my god we have so many all over the house nova is that your squeaky toy this i got because it's getting that time of year if you don't have something up in the window when you get off work and go out to your car, it's just like five million degrees in there. So, you know, you've got the normal um, window shades for your car, little things you put in the window. I don't know what they're called. Sunshade. Yeah. Well, this is a sunshade umbrella. How cool is that? So you just take it. It's even got a little carrying case. So you just take it, it looks like, and unwrap it, and then you push it open like an umbrella. I might take a video of it actually, of actually using it in the car, because I don't want to get it all open up and then have to try to get it back <laughs> before I actually get to use it in the car. So, but it's pretty cool, and I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like good quality. And it's one of these newfangled... It's a car umbrella. How cool is that? So there's that. I am looking forward to putting that in the car and using it probably tomorrow. Because we're supposed to have 80 degree weather. So we'll see. So it's about 70 today, so it wasn't too terrible. It's a little chilly though. I don't know why. Alright. This is another thing I got for my granddaughter. And I thought she'd really get a kick out of them. They're little dresses. They are nightgowns, really. She loves, loves, loves unicorns. And so, these little unicorn nightgowns, they're so cute. I love the fabric. <clears throat> it's going to be perfect for this summer. Because it's that nice, cool, um, not quite, not silk, but... Uh, I don't know. Can't even. I'm not sure what the kind of fabric it is, but more like a 
not really rayon, but you know, it, it's nice and cool. I really like that. And I think it's going to fit her perfectly. Some of these bags are easier to get into, so I'll probably do most of those now. Excuse me. Mm, I've got a dry throat today for some reason. Probably the weather being warmer. I got this for, and I'm hoping that it works well. I got it for my hermit crab tape. And it is because with my hermit crab tank, they have a freshwater pool and a saltwater pool. And as of right now, I have little bubblers in them. But I'm hoping that this will help to keep that water fresh, especially because my water is so hard here. <clears throat> it's a little, it's a filter. But it's one of those that it's just small. I can put on the edge of the pools and filter the water through and I think that'll work out really a lot better I got one I'm gonna see if it works if it does I'll get another one for the salt water tank for the salt water pool so I'm looking forward to putting that up and seeing how that works it's not gonna happen today though it's not this is a weird box in a bag again I don't know why they do this it just seemed like a bad idea and a good way to get destroyed product but we'll see I guess still not even sure uh, it's okay so I've been talking about getting rats I really want to. I don't know if it'll ever happen. Because it... Time and setting stuff up. But, I got these. I didn't realize they were going to be that big. It is a hammock. So, or you can put use it for guinea pigs or any kind of small animal. See that? And it's got the little, little hammocks, which are really soft on one side. And then, I think those be good to clean. This is nice and big. It'll take up a good portion of part of the cage, which is awesome. Or you could even put it out in their roam area. Because it's good to have an area for them to be able to free roam. So, I think that's going to be great. And it looks pretty simple to put together comes with everything you need comes with little hooks and everything so this is great and it seems like a good quality so I'm looking forward to that I'm just glad it held up in transport <laughs> especially being put in a bag I just I don't think I'll ever figure that out in a bag look how bent dented that box is it doesn't make sense I wish they would understand that and keep it in mind because this is a mug and depending on how well it's packaged in the box it could just be destroyed but they've got the foam pieces which is good and it looks like it's in pretty decent shape so that's good still if you're shipping from Amazon no, don't put a box in a bag it's just gonna get ruined anyway how cute is this I love these little different kinds of um, mugs they're really cool and this one was so cute it's got the little four leaf, -leaf clovers and I, was, I think it'll be fun for coffee in the morning or probably coffee in the morning <laughs> it's super cute all right oh. get this out of the way. I don't want to break it that would be my luck I'd take it out gripe about it being in a box that could get broken and then break it that would be my luck 
Sometimes some of these bags are hard to get open, even though they have the perforation. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to go a little bit quicker because I have a lot and I don't want to have a humongously long video. So, because it seems like most people are more interested in the shorter videos, which I get, I totally get. I'm kind of the same way. Unless it's something I really like and then I will sit and watch forever. <laughs> These are beautiful crochet hooks. So any of you crocheters out there, these are super cute. I think they were like 20 bucks, which is not bad. That's for the whole set. It looks like they've got all the sizes there that you need. And it comes with the little extra gadgets and whatnot. And I love the little bag it came in. It all matches. This is great. I love it. I will add it to my needle crafting stuff which is super lots of fun yes i was about to say super cool apparently that's my favorite word right now all right i thought sorry let me get out of frame and get all of this stuff here right. tell you you don't want to see the rest of this room Another item for my granddaughter. Again, it's her birthday coming up, and I thought she would love this. So it's a water bottle. It's a decorate your own water bottle. Yay. It's got the different designs and the stickers and unicorn, because she's really so into the unicorns. I get it. I like the unicorns, too. They're super cute. Oh, I just pour it. Dang it. She's not going to care. She's going to tear it open when she gets it anyway. But look, it comes with the little stickers. How cute are those? And the little bottle holder. I don't want to take too much of it out. It's going to be a pain to get back in, I have a feeling. But these are super, super cute. I love it. She's going to love it. And look, they're diamond painting stickers. She's going to get to diamond paint. She's going to be so excited about that. Every time she comes over. No diamond paint, Nana. Sure. That's diamond paint. <laughs> All right. This is. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I was getting low, or I was running out of ideas, so I saw this, and I just thought it might be fun, or funny, or a little bit of both. So, oh, it's part of the lid. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little bigger. It's kind of small. But if you want to fiddle on your desk at work or whatever at home, I could set it up here. It is, look, it's got the little golf balls. There's two of them. <laughs> it's, got <a> little, <laughs> it's got a little, little um, flag. A little spot you can put it in there and you just put it and then you can use the <laughs> all right you guys hold on I'll show you <laughs> uh, I can't wait I ordered a stand for my phone and I, I'm hoping that comes today we'll see if it's in here but look at this watch oh I missed <laughs> how cool is that it's so much fun. I could fiddle with that for a while. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, and it's a pen. Look at that. How cool. And it's not just one. There's the driver, the putter, and the, I don't know what the other one's called, but there's multiple. And they're all pens also. How cool. I love it. This is super cute. And again, it was only like 20 bucks. So really, if you've got an avid golfer that you know, this would be the perfect gift for them. My husband's always talking about wanting to golf. So I'll just give him this and tell him that he's now a golfer. You won't know the difference, White. <laughs> that is super, super cool. I love it. That is awesome. That's 
hours and hours of entertainment. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it up for now. I won't sit here and play with it on vi video. That would just bore you to death. Some of these like to be difficult to open. Cool. So these are, I had ordered some capris. Right, let me open this one. I had ordered some capris a while back and they sent me a small medium. Do I look like a small medium? Uh, no. And I don't know how it happened, but so they sent me the right size and I think those are going to fit perfectly they're um I think medium large large extra large which is fine because they're stretchy and they seem like they have a good stretch to them and they seem to be like a good fabric they might be a little bit tight but I think they're going to work really well and I really appreciate that the company went ahead and sent me the right size now what did I do with the other size I put it aside they didn't want it back, so I'll probably give it to one of my children that are a little bit smaller, a lot bit smaller than I am. So. I hate these boxes that you have to like pull instead of taking tape off of. They're just kind of weird. Now, when they're a little bit smaller, it's not so bad, but when they're bigger like this, it's difficult. And then it's a box inside a box inside a box. Always making a mess. Ah! <laughs> Just got another gnome. I did, you guys. I got another gnome. I think he lights up too. <laughs> My husband's going to lose his mind with all these light up statues in the yard. <laughs> Come on. Alright. Look at that. <laughs> He's super cool. <laughs> he does light up. Let's see. The little sign. Ah! Now I got to figure out where to put him. He is super duper awesome. I love him. I can't wait to set him up out in the yard. I'll have to do a video later of him. With the rest of the light up statue family. I'm going to have to be covered in the little fuzzy thing. All right. All right, this one has a few things in it, which is nice. So I got this because I thought it would be cool, especially this summer because living in Missouri, the temperature gets really high, but then so does the, the um, humidity. So I got this and it's got three different measuring devices. And then it's got the little home device and it'll tell you what the temperature is, um, what the humidity is. And that's really, really cool. I really like that. That'll be neat. And then I can kind of see when I say, yeah, it's humid here. I can have proof to back that up. All right. Some of this stuff is really well packaged, like the tape on the box and the tape in the box. And I fumble at things. Sometimes I have such a hard time getting things open. I, I don't know. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Ah, sorry. This is, I can, it, I've got a lot of jewelry, a lot of jewelry. And this is awesome because it's jewelry hooks. And I'm thinking about, <clears throat> I've got some shelves up here, maybe putting it on the edge of the shelves or on the wall. I'm not sure yet which, but this is really nice and I really like it. And I hope it's easy to install. <laughs> We'll see. All right. It seems pretty easy. And it's only got a couple pieces, which is nice. 
I said my throat is really dry today, so if I start getting like gravelly mouth, I I apologize. This thing, you're in the way, Miko. <laughs> it's a little digital microscope, and it's for kids. I think it's really for anybody who wants to play with a microscope. It's super cool. Look at that. I don't want a big old crazy microscope, but I thought this would be fun to just play with. And it's really neat. I can play with it when the grandkids are here too. This is very, very cool. It's very compact. It's got the little piece. It's just really neat. It's like a little tripod. Cool. Awesome. And I imagine, yep, the cords, the power cords. And it's got the little um, Petri dishes or whatever. Oh, it's not going to let me take them out of there right now. But, okay, now I will take them out because it's bugging me. There we go. See, and then it's got little, like, potato starch and other stuff feather that's really cool it's already got them that's already got stuff on them and then you can use it to use stuff around the house too it's pretty cool very very cool that will be a lot of fun to play with at some point or it will sit here and collect dust i don't know we'll see <laughs> I swear I get these things, I'm like, oh, I'm going to play with it. And then I forget I have them. And then I find it a, a couple weeks go by. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. I'm really good at that. I forgot I had that. You got to be strong to get into these boxes. Yes. Awesome. So this is one of the things I got for this, for my vlogging and YouTube stuff and that kind of thing. And I'm going to drop it all over the floor, so that's cool. All right. It's a stand. It'll hold the phone. And it looks pretty simple to put together. I think it also has yeah, it's got a camera in it, which is really cool too. Really look forward to setting this up and kind of figuring it out. And then hopefully next time I'll have it all set up and be able to use that instead of just putting my phone on the computer because my camera on my computer isn't great. <laughs> this I got for Miko. She's going to love it. Yes, and so do you. She loves snuffle mats. Loves them. We have like two. And this one, <laughs> it's got a little rabbit and a little carrot. Oh, they keep dropping stuff. They squeak. Super neat. There's some kind of bell or something in there. Oh, I love it. And it's got a little thing you can hook it around, like if you want to put it in a crate or something. We don't crate our girls anymore. There's just, it takes up space and we really don't need it. They're pretty good. But these are really, this is really neat. Oh, I think she's going to love it. I'll take some video of it later and you'll be able to see how much she loves it. And it'll be super fun. I like to put this stuff in here and then she has to drag it out. And she takes her time. She nibbles it. For such a big girl, she's really gentle with her toys. Unlike Nova, who just tears into it all. You're going to have to wait, me. Right. She doesn't want to wait. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's an electric chainsaw, you guys. It's a mini electric chainsaw. Why? I don't know. I just, 
saw mini electric chainsaw. I said, what the heck? <laughs> I want it. So I got it. I thought it would be a lot of fun to review. Let me break things before I even get to use them. And that's something I have to do. Let's see if I can get this baby open without taking a ton of time. Just to get an idea of how it looks. I get some of this stuff and I'm like, what am I going to use it for? And then I do find things to use it for. Like, oh yeah, I have that. Alright guys, I'm going to bring the... I'll bring it down here, look. It's got... Eh. There we go. No. There we go. All that stuff. How cool. Ah, look. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but it's got the little saw chain mini. It's got all the stuff that you need. The blade. Plugs. My husband might really get a kick out of this, actually. Very nice. And it was about... I think it was a... Uh, a hundred. It's not too bad, price-wise. So that's great. I am making a disaster that I'm going to have to clean up after this. So. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. <laughs> All right. So I got this aluminum tape that way I can I currently so for the hermit crab tank you have to have heaters because they have to keep a pretty warm environment and I just took some tape put the heaters up taped it and then threw some aluminum foil over it because the heaters that I have you can insulate and I think this is going to be a lot better so that'll be nice to update and then I got this microphone. My husband was talking about doing some podcasting, and I think that'll be, it'll be good for that. Um, it's really nice. It looks like it's got headphones with it. I think this is going to work out really well. Look at that. Sweet. Nice. Do some ASMR and talk really slowly and lightly into it. People love that. I tend to be a little bit on the louder side, so. This next thing is another dog item, I believe. Hi, Nova. She's very interested in what I'm doing. But she can't get over here because I got boxes in the way. <laughs> Luna Marie is what it's called super cute and it's got all kinds of stuff it comes in the box and it's all well packaged definitely for those dog lovers out there it's got the pet shampoo ah, it's got a little uh, little bib or handkerchief super cute champagne bottles chewies doesn't sound like it's squeaky but that's okay uh, doggy bath bombs because apparently that's a thing a bath brush for dogs and cats I don't know what that oh nice so you can yeah you can brush them with it and then just pull the hair off very cool and it's nice and it's just a rubber so it's not too it's not going to hurt them which is very nice Hemp oil for stress and anxiety. Perfect for my Akita. Oh, she gets stressed so easily. And then some paw balm for their paws. Which is good too, because this time of year they tend to get dried out rather quickly. So, this is really nice. And this was a little bit more expensive. I think it was $67. So again, if you really like your dogs, like I do, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, it comes with a coupon, too. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. 
I'm getting close to the end. I'm getting close to the end. We're coming on 30 minutes, and I know that's too long for most. Maybe I can figure out how to break it up into two parts. We'll see. Um, oh, yay! So, again, granddaughter, birthday, it's Sunday, and I decided to go ahead and get the supplies. So we got some balloons. It's a whole set. I really wish there was a picture of it. Because I am not taking all that out. I'm not doing it because it's not going to go back in the bag. But, maybe I can take a little picture video when we get it set up. It's got the uh, tablecloth. It's got a little cloth to put in the background for pictures and stuff. And, of course, unicorns. So, she's going to love that. I showed her it when I was ordering it. She was like, yes, yes, yes. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Frog in my throat. All right. Oh, yay. This is for my husband. Well, this is not for my husband. This is for me, but this is just a little shirt I thought was super cute. Not for me. That is for my granddaughter again. It's a little big. But that's okay. I still think she'll get a kick out of it. It's cute. She'll grow into it for sure. That's not going to fit me. That's not going to fit one of my legs. I don't think it'll fit one of my arms. This is for my husband. It is, and I'm not taking it out. I'm going to let him do that. That's going to be for him. But it is... A Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Gi. And it's Taipan. So I think he's really going to like it. It had a lot of good reviews. Um, it was a decent price. It was only like 60 And most Jiu Jitsu Gis are, you're, you're looking at 115 Mine was 165 Of course, mine was Sanable. So Sanable, however you say it. So it was a little bit on the pricier side, mostly because of the name, but all right. This is the very last thing and then I get to clean up this mess. Yay. And swim oh, it's just a I really like the little swim covers to wear over tank tops and capris to work. Especially if they're not super see-through, which this doesn't, doesn't look like it's super see-through. Because they're super cute and comfortable. I think this, once it's fitted and I get it on, I think it'll be really cute. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I really like that. I like the fabric, and it'll be perfect to go over some capris. I might even wear that to work tomorrow, because it's supposed to be 80 tomorrow. So, sweet. All right, this was a long video. I'm sorry, you guys. If you've watched this long, thank you so much. I will be doing another one probably Sunday. I might throw a live in at some point this week. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I might do Saturday instead of Sunday because we have my granddaughter's birthday party Sunday. I'm probably not going to want to do anything after that, to be honest. Um, but, again, if you're enjoying this, just let me know. Hit the like leave a comment. If you want it to be shorter, let me know and I can do a few more throughout the week and then just post them throughout. I'm still learning all this, so bear with me. <laughs> but I really appreciate you. I appreciate the ones that have subscribed so far. I really hope you enjoy the videos and I will continue to upload the shorts and that kind of thing. And again, if there's particular things you want me to review, just let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I will set up, I'm going to set up a separate Facebook, a link to that. You guys can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, and that's it for today. So have a great rest of your week, people.